Welcome to Stroller Coaster Storytime, brought to you by Munchkin. You know Munchkin. They make all that fun and fantastic stuff for kids. At Stroller Coaster Storytime, we act out kids' stories. Maybe not so perfectly. Wink. Hey, it's time to go to the recording studio to see what our studio players and director are up to. Come on. Hi, everyone. I'm your director, Ross. Today, we bring you the three little pigs. Helping us out today is our cast of great voice actors. Hi, Ross. Hey, Ross. Hey. How are you? Our sound engineer, who will play all the sounds in the story. And the three little pigs. Hi, I'm pig number one. Hola, pig numero dos here. So, pig three is me. Hi, sorry I'm late. Who are you? I'm pig number four, the DJ. DJ Oink! Okay, I guess now we're doing the four little pigs. Narrator, take it from here. Thanks, Ross. Once upon a time, there were four little pigs. They love to build houses. Houses, my favorite. Yeah, it's true, all the time. Houses, that's my jam. They build houses out of couch cushions. They build houses out of balloon animals. <laughs> they build houses out of their mom and dad's very important tax documents. Uh-oh. The pigs were so good at building houses that they wanted to have a contest to see who could build the strongest house. They asked their very close friend, the wolf, to test who built the strongest house. Hello, I'm the wolf. <laughs> meow. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Wolves don't say meow. Wolves growl. Like this. Growl. Okay, close enough. And finally, it was time for the big house building contest. The three pigs built their houses. The fourth pig provided the music. DJ Oink! The wolf got ready for his job, testing the strength of the houses. Yep, my job is to huff and puff and blow on everyone's house to make sure it can stay standing up during a big storm. The wolf arrived at the first little pig's house. It was made of straw, which sounds like this. Hey, uh, let me in. <laughs> knock, knock. Let me in, said the wolf. Oink, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. That's good. That's good. Your parents taught you right. Never open your door to strangers. Just want to let you know, I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to try to blow your house in. Oh, boy. Hey, you at home. Can you blow along with the wolf? Like this. Ready? One, two, three, blow. Great. The house of straw blew to the ground. There was nothing between the little pig and the wolf. The little pig looked at the wolf. The wolf looked at the little pig. Huh, well, this is awkward. Huh. I guess using straw was a mistake. That's okay, little pig. You gave it a try. The wolf went to the second house, which was made of sticks, which sounds like this. The wolf knocked on the door. Let me in. Come on, let me in, said the wolf. Hi, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the little pig. Now, I'm going to huff and puff and try to blow your house in. Oh, boy. What do you think happened to the house made of sticks? It fell down. The little pig looked at the wolf. The wolf looked at the little pig. Well, this is awkward. I guess sticks were a bad idea. I should have at least used some glue or something. Hey, that's all right, little pig. You gave it a try. The wolf went on to the third house, which was made of bricks, which sounds like this. The wolf knocked on the door. Hello, let me in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Huh, right. Just want to let you know. I'm going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to try to blow your house in. <laughs> Ask your pig friends about it. <laughs>
Oh boy. The brick house didn't budge. The wolf tried again. <laughs> oh! Hoo-wee, well done, little pig. This house is stuff wrong. What did you build it out of? Yeah, it's because I didn't know what to do. So I called up an expert, my friend Becky. She recommended I go with bricks over straw and sticks. And you always go with what Becky says. That's me. Hey, I'm Becky. How you doing? And I always say, go with the bricks. Because they're heavy and hard like boulders and rocks. And good at stopping wolf breath. They were having so much fun building, they kept going. And the house got bigger and bigger. The house was so big, you could see it from outer space. Uh, Roger, Control. Whoa, you gotta see this. There's a giant house down on Earth, and it's being built by pigs. (laughs) The house was so big and so well made, the four little pigs and their parents and the wolf all decided to move in. They opened a dance club in the kitchen where the fourth little pig DJed every Saturday night. The wolf used all of her huffing and puffing to blow up a ton of balloon animals. And that brings us to the moral of the story. Ross? The moral of the story is, when you're doing something that's challenging, sometimes it takes a couple of tries to get it how you want it. And maybe a little help from Becky. That's me! That's our show. I'd like to thank our cast, our sound engineer, and you for joining us. Now, let's all take a dance break. Everyone listening, dance with us. DJ Oink, take us out. DJ Oink, DJ Oink. Roller Coaster Storytime with love and laughs from Munchkin. Thank you for joining us. Wait till you hear the next one. No mistakes at all. Wink. Parents, see how you and your kids can make really cool paper balloon farm animals and an awesome umbrella fort. Follow Munchkin on Instagram at Munchkin Inc. and check out their podcast, Instagram Highlight. <laughs>